So race vlogs are coming thick and fast. I'm just packing my bag, ready for a weekend away in Glasgow. The next race on my calendar is a 3K tomorrow with Chelmsford AC. So I'm just packing up my camera gear um, and a bit of an overnight bag because we're actually flying up um, and then racing tomorrow. So a little weekend away, a little bit of a different race vlog. I'll show you sort of behind the scenes of uh, an athletics club. This is probably the furthest we've ever traveled for an athletics meet, so we're all very excited. Um, and it's the final of the National Athletics League as well, so it should be some good competition. But I'm gonna take you along. Just about to get picked up by Lukey Boy, and then we're off to the airport. But yeah, all set to go. Bag packed for the weekend. Let's do it. So training this last week's gone pretty well. Um, I'm on 78 kilometers so far for the week. I uh, did a bit of a taper session last night. Um, so I've just taken it super easy today. We were down uh, on the in the gym. Uh, I jumped on the treadmill and did an hour. Um, I'm also excited to announce that I have partnered up with a company called Chew. I've become an ambassador for this company. Um, and they recently just brought out some of these new socks. They're resting socks. It says Zone Zero on it and they earned it. So I'm just gonna try those on for the first time. Um, and I'll leave a link down to uh, the Chew website. They basically design socks that match racing shoes, which I think is pretty cool. And if you use Ben is running 15, you can get 15% off. Um, but yeah, these are the new resting range, which just come out today. So just pick those up in the post. Gonna try them on. They seem to be a little bit thicker than the other socks. So yeah, if you wanna go check them out, I'll leave a link to the website in the description. There you go, that's better. So my race shoes, my spikes, I don't actually have them in my bag because I've already packed them. We're only taking hand luggage and we weren't sure if spikes are allowed to be taken on the flight. Um, so everybody's spikes in the team has gone up to Scotland already. Um, there was a team bus driving up today. So I handed my spikes in at the track um, last night and yeah, they're on the way to Scotland. So hopefully, fingers crossed, my track spikes turn up tomorrow. Thank you, thank you. All right, Savaloy. Hi, How are we doing? Yeah, good, yeah. Yeah, Welcome to Stansted Airport. Boarding pass acquired. Motley Crew acquired. Time for security. Oh, that is a shot. Get some of that on Vinco. Bit, bit of golden hour. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Come on in, Glasgow. Looks even better on camera. Luke Oliver, 16. Thank you. Hey. You're with me, mate. You're with me. So Luke Oliver is with Chris Yule and, Chris Yule and Ben. So we just got to our hotel room. Very fancy for the night. Got Luke over here, Chris over here, and I've managed to um, bugsy the double bed. But um, yeah, travel lodge job. Nothing special, but it will get the job done. And then we're off to the track tomorrow. Good night. Let's give this a whirl. There's no way we're going to Glasgow tonight. I just don't think I can Glasgow since. Here I am, you right? Good morning. Boof. Good work, Luke. Uh, Luke is pole vaulting. I'm not good at this. This is my uh, contribution. I just hold the camera. There you go, a couple more, mate. What do you think of the stadium, Luke? Beautiful. Beautiful. So we just arrived at the Scotston Stadium here in Glasgow. Uh, it's now uh, 20 past 10 in the morning and my race is until uh, 3.35. So I've got just over five hours until my race. Um, and I've learned my lesson from the previous match of just hanging around too much basically at the track. Um, so I'm actually gonna head to a coffee shop this morning. There's one about a 10 minutes drive away. So I'm gonna jump in an Uber. Very luxury, get a nice coffee, just chill out, um, try and distract myself a little bit because I don't need to be getting in the zone for another sort of three or four hours yet. So 
yeah, that's my plan. Um, but we've all just arrived. The rest of the Chelmsford team are just sitting down here behind me. Um, I think some of the field events have started. Hammer throw is often the first thing to start. Then the pole vault, uh, and then the track races don't start until about 12 o'clock. So we've got a little bit of time before everything kicks off. Um, but I'm going to head to coffee shop, chill out for a bit, and then get ready to race this afternoon. That's my plan anyway. So I've just booked an Uber. That's going to take me to the nearest specialty coffee shop. He is seven minutes away. There we go, that was easy enough. Just took a Uber to a bit more central place. Crossed the road quickly and the coffee shop's just over here. It's called Himba. Um, I literally just searched nearest specialty coffee shop. I'm a bit of a coffee snob. And uh, yeah, gonna try out the local coffee. Thank you very much. Happy days, lovely little spot to kill a couple of hours. Just gonna jump back in an Uber, back to the track, and then start my warm up, find out how everyone's got on. Um, but the main thing was this morning is just trying to get away from it, settle into my own usual morning, and then uh, hopefully have a good race this afternoon. That's the plan. Go on, Shane! Go on, Shane! Yeah. So I'm just out for my warm up, gonna do my usual 3K, couple of strides. Um, before the race. My typical warm-up that I do before track workout, so I'm just going to stick with that. Nothing new on race day, as I always say. Just heading to the local park. It's called Victoria Park here in Glasgow. If you're, if you're local, um, I've got a park run there. Should have already done that this morning as a shakeout, but we didn't get in till about midnight last night, so wanted to prioritise getting some good sleep last night. I always start my warm-up about an hour um, before my race, so it's now 2.25. My race is at 3.35, so in about an hour's time, I'll be running around the track. But yeah, here we are, Victoria Park, this way. No idea where I'm going. Try not to get lost, because I left my phone back there, so yeah, 3K. Warm up down and do a few strides when I got my spikes on. Then I'm ready to go. Yeah, this is the indoor track. Won't be using that. You leave that to the sprinters, but yeah, feeling good. Felt good in the warm up. Always good sign. Should have a good race, I reckon. Just got back from my warm up. All good. Luke's race is just about to start on the other side of the track, so try and get a little bit of footage of his race. Um, he said he wasn't feeling too good before the start, so we'll see. He's in a pretty stacked field, so. See how he gets on, but he should be coming around in just a second. They get on, on the start line now, so yeah. Come on, Lukey boy. Here we go. Luke and Zach in this one. There's Luke right at the back. Good lad. And Zach. Yeah. Settling into their position. That looks pretty quick. Come on, Luke, commit, mate, come on! Shaftesbury and Barnett at the front at the moment. Alfie Mantle in second. Come on, Luke, you've got this! Come on, Zach, come on, Luke! Come on, Zach! And Alfie looking strong, mate. Come on, Luke, that's it. Just sit there and wind it up. You've got this, mate. Come on, Zach, close that gap. Let's go, Chelmsford. Come on, mate, 800 to go. Make it count. Get round him, Luke, come on! Here they come down the home straight. Alfie's not going to have it his way today. It's a big burn up. Looks like a Glasgow athlete's gonna get there. Alfie and Fern. Great race. There's Lukey boy. He's closing well. Come on, Luke! Dig! Come on, Luke! All the way! Through the line. Well done, mate. Good stuff, bro. <laughs> Come on, Zach. All the way, mate. Well done. Coming back from injury. Good stuff from Zach, good showing. There we go, men's 1500. What a race. How was that, Zach? Shocking. In one word, shocking. I looked at the open track time table like a little numpty. <laughs> Didn't warm up. Feeling quite sick. It wasn't fun. We're not doing for chances again, absolutely. Exactly, for the badge. Shoes on your feet, lads. What do you think of the new on spikes? Any good? Good stuff? I'm not getting paid to say anything, so I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> But you let the, let the spikes on his feet. Them, though, so. Exactly. Wow, what a race that was. Hopefully my race is as exciting as that, but I doubt it. There's about three or four of them contesting for the win there. Um, Alfie, I think, just got out kicked. 
which he said he thought he might because he's more of like a, a strength runner, but a great run nonetheless. The ladies 1500 meters is just underway now. Got a couple of chunks of athletes in there as well, but I need to do a few strides and uh, hand the camera over to somebody else to uh, be on camera duties. So hopefully I can get to Luke. So I just finished my warm up, did some dynamic stretches and a few strides, just three, three little ones. Um, and I'm going for these spikes today that are on uh, 10,000 meters. Haven't raced in these yet, done one session in them and they felt pretty good. So yeah, looking forward to trying these out today. Hopefully have a good race. And it's a blue track, first time ever running on a blue track. So hopefully that brings me some luck. But I'm just heading around to the start line. Uh, seven and a half laps today in the 3K and it is now 15.21. So I've got about 14 minutes until the start of my race. So plenty of time to take some layers off, get these bad boys on and uh, get going. Come on. Ben, this is quality, mate. Well done. Coach yes, well says yes. Well done. Well done, Joe. Come on, Ben. Oh my god, what a race. I did it. In my head, I wanted sub 8 830, which is 68 seconds per lap. I didn't want to say it on camera before because it's a pretty daunting goal for me. Uh, I went through the first K in about 251, second kilometer exactly 251, and then with three laps to go, I was just feeling so good, so I just thought, just go for it. Um, I took it on. Alfie came around me with 200 meters to go, but Alfie is, a, is another, another tier of, of an athlete in terms of where we are in our, in our journeys on the athletics uh, sort of calendar, if you like. I don't know what I'm even saying. Maybe the lactic's gone to my head, but um, Alfie's a top runner. He's run like seven minutes, 49, I want to say, for 3K, so some 40 seconds quicker than what we ran today. But yeah, unbelievably happy with that. I think it was about a 13 second PB, so can't really ask for more. The spikes felt incredible. Like, I can see what the hype is all about, about these on running spikes. Like, yeah, unreal. My legs just stayed fresh the whole way around, which I think is the difference. Um, whereas when I wear other spikes, I seem to fatigue um, quite a bit in, in other spikes, whereas the on spikes just kept me bouncing along. They're definitely past the, past the test today. On my watch, 8.29.23 was the finish time. So I'm so happy with that. Gonna get my other shoes on, go for a bit of a longer warm down, get that weekly mileage up. And then I've got a 5K race next Saturday. So in a week's time. So I'm gonna try and hopefully run a PB there as well. But it's been a long while, a long while since I've had a PB. So I'm gonna enjoy that one tonight. Maybe have a couple of beers with the boys up here in Glasgow. But yeah, thanks always as the support for the support um, means a lot. I always think about it when I'm running around. I know it sounds cringy, but a big part of why I'd make YouTube videos is the run to inspire, inspire to run. So I always think of like, not the pressure that's on my shoulders, but the want to, to 
do well for my subscribers, for my family, for my friends, my girlfriend. So yeah, when it pays off like that, it means a lot. So thanks for all the support as always. Why do you get that wow, in the vlog? look at that. Yeah, that should be the thumbnail, really. Yeah, oh, could you do it's that? Coming. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. So I just finished the race and had a couple of Scottish lads come up and say hello. <laughs> How you doing, guys? Good. I'm good. Just got some uh, Polaroids. What uh, clubs do you run for? Kilmarnock Carriers. Which is where I'm actually staying tonight. Yeah, where yeah. you're staying. Yeah, and yourself? Uh, Giffnick North. Nice. You run today? Yeah, I ran today. Done the 1500. First beast string in 355. Oh, nice. 355. So Very good. Yeah, not bad. You were second. Do you say yeah, first for the B first string, but I think sixth overall. Awesome. So it's all right. Well, nice to meet you. Thanks for grabbing a, a photo. Cheers You're for the well Polaroid. Then. That's the old thumbnail for the vlog. <laughs> um, yeah, nice to meet you guys. So I'm just out for my cool down on Cloud Nine. Um, just spoke to my girlfriend Meg and my mum and dad on the phone. Let them know the good news. Um, yeah, so happy with how the race went. Couldn't have gone much better. I took it out. I was brave with three laps to go. And I got beaten by a seven minute something 3k runner at the end. So that was always going to happen. I'm so chuffed with second. I think that's the best result I could have possibly uh, come away with. So yeah, we're going to head to back to the hotels now. Uh, and then we're off to a Chinese buffet, all 50 of us in the team. So I'm going to bring the camera along, show you a bit more of behind the scenes at Chelmsford. And um, this is a bit of a, a subtle plug but Chelmsford AC are actually looking for sponsors for next season so if you know anyone uh, any clothing brands or any brands really that want to have your logo on the Chelmsford kit training kit stuff like that and support sort of like grassroots athletics that would really help because something like this has cost the club about £10,000 I think so we're looking for sponsors if you know anyone drop me a, a DM in the comments or on Instagram and I'll get back to you and hopefully next season we can get some sponsors on board and to grow Chelmsford AC, best club in Essex. A bit of relays to finish the day. Come on Chelmsford, let's go Chelmsford, come on! Woo! Go on Chelmsford. Dead last but we tried, we tried. Chelmsford AC PB board. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine PBs today. Not bad. Just gonna get a little team photo now. And then we're off to the Chinese. <laughs> stuff three two one five thank you for a lovely game of fingers So it's the morning after the night before. Um, great night last night celebrating our relegation. Unfortunately, the, the result of the match was that we're gonna move down from the Premier uh, to the league below, which is a shame. It was always likely to be the case. Um, we're a much smaller club, but we enjoyed our time in the Premier, Le Premier Division, our first ever year uh, in that league. Hopefully next season in the lower league, we can get promoted again. But yeah, that's it for the Glasgow vlog. Hope you've enjoyed a little bit more of the behind the scenes and look at an athletics club. Maybe you want to join your own athletics club, then I would recommend getting down and, and giving it a go. We all train together. We all um, go out on nights out together, celebrate the PBs and uh, race around the country and it's been really good this season so yeah cheers to that until next time aspire to run run to inspire and we'll see you again soon